You're gonna see double perspective. I get my, ooh, damn, toxic. Um, But we do not have the scopes. Welcome to Aaron Gelly. As, as Toxic and I are pushing, Atachi goes down. He gets instantly thirsted. Here's an aid. Three, two, one. Good night, nurse. We took advantage of the knocks. We pushed how to successfully push and defend the exact same compound. What's going on guys, this is Riggs. And back by popular demand, by popular request. Here it is, bam, there it is. You're gonna see double perspective. You're going to see my perspective of this match. You're also going to see Fake Toxic's perspective who is the clan manager and competitive player for Fake Was Taken, which is our clan. Now, for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, and for those of you that happen to be new here, of course, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys drop a like. Let me know all your uh, thoughts, opinions, questions, all that good stuff down in the comment section. But you guys will remember, we used to have a couple series on the channel. We had Quest for Conquer, and we also had Race to Ace. So in this match, this is actually the match that you guys are going to watch is going to be the game that I get my, ooh, damn, toxic. Peaked that a little too long. VSS versus Car 98. Car 98 is going to get the best of him. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and pick him up. Race to ace. I actually get ace in this match. Now, more importantly, a lot of you have been asking for tips and tricks how to push, how to defend buildings, uh, how to flank and rotate, and just various things like that. So this is that is what this video is going to be. This is our race to ace. Now, I'm already ace in squads, but I will be racing to get ace in duos. I want double ace this season here in season 13. So in this episode of Race to Ace, what we're going to be talking about is how to push a compound and how to defend a compound. I'm gonna, or again, we're going to be looking at both mine and Fake Toxic's perspectives. Kind of break down the gameplay for you guys, the thought process. We also have Fake Itachi, uh, who is also in this match. We're playing Trio. All three of us are an ace right now. What that was, I don't know. Decisive Imp. Not sure if that was a bot or if that was a real player. But regardless, Toxum took, took him out. So we're stuck on the bridge. We are stuck between a rock and a hard place. And these guys, they have the guns. They obviously have the scopes. They have the hard cover. We're stuck on the bridge. Luckily, we don't have to battle the blue right now. Um, but we do not have the scopes. Welcome to Erangel. You see Fake Toxic with the 3X. Tries to get uh, RCG 2390. Did not work out. But luckily, we hopped off the bridge now. If you guys saw the very beginning, we do not have vehicle. The vehicle that we took to the bridge, we ended up uh, blowing it up again for hardcover, so they couldn't, so the enemies could not blow it up for us and either knock or kill. So we went ahead and blown up. Now, the important thing is we don't have the hardcover. We're out in the open, but we have the terrain. We have the terrain to work with. Now, notice we didn't continue fighting from the bridge. Instead, what we're doing again using the terrain to our advantage using these little berms and all these little divots to rotate we're going to try to rotate and flank the enemy because for all we know they're still looking at the bridge they don't know yet that we're over here until we take shots we're just trying to survey a little bit trying to get as much information as possible before we decide to take any shots like i mentioned earlier we have fake itachi who's over a little over 200 meters away from us but he's trying to get a different angle. If you're able to, again, this is just a trio, but if we had a full squad, this would go much, much differently. But the fact that we're able to get an angle, look, they have no idea that we're even over here. It looked like he missed that. I didn't see any hit markers, but again, a car 98 with a 3X, not the best of things. Fake Itachi does take out one of the guys that actually knocked Toxic on the bridge. So that was a good flank and he was able to thirst with that scar L. So, so far, job well done. This was a full squad. So now we're down to at least three. So again, we're just trying to rotate. And again, using trees, if there's rocks, using any sort of 
structures to our advantage. And now it's all about knocks. So this is what you're going to see is an ideal push. Now we're waiting to get a couple knocks. We don't just want to push out it out in the open. Again, they have the hard cover. We do not. So we need at least one knock. N notice that Itachi got a knock and I got a knock as well. So we know they only have one guy up right now that can do anything. And he's going to be tied up with revives. This is what we're talking about. Or, or, when you, or when you watch other videos, this is what we're talking about when we talk about a push. We had two knocks, he's gonna be busy. Luckily there's a buggy here, but as, as Toxic and I are pushing, Atachi goes down, he gets instantly thirsted uh, by the other team. This is the only other guy up, watch this. Here comes the push, boom! Eam588 goes and gets taken out. Why the hell I have a UMP, I have no idea. Now, considering that that was a full squad, and we lost Itachi. The fact that we were able to take them out, we took advantage of the knocks, we pushed. Even without that buggy, I believe we were we still would have had a successful push where we could have wiped that squad. And now we can go ahead and loot up as many boxes as we want. Clearly, we didn't have the scopes, but these guys did. The best we had was a 4X, which is what I had on my M4. And then you had Toxic who had a car 98 with a 3X, but that's not the case anymore. We even picked up a flare from these guys. Uh, with only 12 alive, probably didn't need to pop it, but I have a damage, I have a damage level three helmet and a level two vest. So the least we can do is get some armor. Now, Toxic is advising that we still have some people over here on the bridge, a separate team. How many there are, we're not 100% sure. And check this out. Boom! It was a delayed hit marker, but he still uh, got, a, uh, got a hit marker from one of the guys in the buggy. We're lighting these guys up, or in the UAZ, lighting these dudes up. Um, but yeah, we were not able to get any knocks. But check this out, though. This is what is so interesting and why I wanted to bring you guys this footage. These guys are going to be on the in the exact situation, 100%, right? The exact same situation that we were just in, just... Reverse. Now we have the hardcover. Now it's them that are going to want the push. How he didn't get a hit marker on that, I have no idea. This is this way too close to be hill glitched, but not 100 sure. So there, here comes our package. There's the flare. Toxic's going. Go, he's going to go ahead and smoke it out while we're trying to do something. Again, we have a good position. We're not finding the blue. We're in the next zone. And it's just, we're pretty much just trying to wait for them to make a move. There's no need with zone position. Now there's only nine left. We do not need, there's no reason for us to give up this compound. So it's up to us to defend. Now look, the first mistake that these guys made is they're pushing without a knock. And I know they don't know that we, don't, that we only have a duo right here. They don't know if we have three, if they have a full squad. Nice crouch fire from Toxic right there. Wipe completely just ruins his day this guy in the ghillie right here and he's trying to he's trying to get that thirst not only with the new kd system but if you can get the thirst get it get it especially especially with this new trash kd system and boom there he goes so he goes ahead and takes that dude out so these guys are raining bombs right now they're trying to kobe the hell out of us that one almost got me that one got me to about 10 hp so i'll have plenty of time but notice we're not staying stagnant I close the door and that way they can't throw any nades inside of it, but we're doing our best to keep moving. We're not staying in one position for too long. And that's one thing you want to do when you're in these compounds. You don't just want to stay in a corner, not moving. You want to get as much information as you can while confusing the enemy so they can't track your very moves. If you look at the mini map, we do see a couple footsteps. And at the same time, we don't know how many people they have. They have at least three. At this point in time, we don't know if they have a full squad or not, but at least three. Again, trying to get those Kobe's, trying to get those shots. Notice after Toxic Mate took those shots, he went ahead and moved. He did not stay in that same position. Here's an aid. Three, two, one. Good night, nurse. Now, if you look at the kill feed, look closely. I got two knocks with one nade. So, of course, as we're defending, now is the push. We know there's at least one guy left. So here comes the push. Notice we changed position. And right here, here's one of the guys I saw, his footsteps on the mini map, just crawling around. Here comes the second thirst. And now it's just a matter of tracking down the last dude. Toxic is all over this, like white on rice. 
And that was the last one right there. Boom, notice I was right next to Toxic on the last engagement. So that, that was a squad of three. Took out the dude in the smoke. We got the knock with the nade. And then it was a, it was a, uh, basically a 2v1 at that point. But notice we both pushed together uh, and went ahead and took out the last guy. How to successfully push and defend the exact same compound in the same match. Now there's five alive, and we've and Toxic has seen at least two people run across this field. There's the second one right there. So again, since we have two, that's one thing you want to pay attention to. As much as you can, pay attention to the kill feed. Pay attention to how many are how many are alive, and often you can figure out how many people are left in the matches or who's even left in your match if you're paying attention to the kill feed kind of throughout the match. Again, just trying to locate these last dudes right here. And he thinks they're inside this compound. I'm not sure what he had actually seen, but as you're going to see, this compound ended up being clear. All these guys are up here by the tree. The reason why he kind of disappeared like that and why I missed those shots, as check this out, you're gonna find out in a moment. That's why it's so nice to have dual perspective. He went ahead and snaked out. So Toxic gets the knock. There's the next dude behind the rock. I get one of the other, one of the other guys, boom. As quick as it began, it ended. We got the chicken dinner. Toxic getting the MVP. Seven kills, 1,200 damage. Not a bad game. Again, this was a trio versus squads. And check this out. There it is. Bam, crown one. Boom. This was the match that got me to ace. Had tons of fun. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Let me know in the comment section. Dual perspective. GG's.